You can increase the range of your car's remote by putting it against your head. True. We know this might sound crazy, but it seems to actually work. Your head becomes kind of a radio antenna, extending the wireless range by a few car lengths. We tested this ourselves and the remote worked an extra 15 metres away compared to when using it in the conventional way. Turning the aircon off and opening the windows can save on fuel. Maybe. It's an age old question. Aircon on versus windows down, which is better? The debate's based on the fact that your car's aircon drains power from the engine, while cranking down the windows increases drag, both making your car less efficient. But which hits your fuel consumption the most? Well, there's no one answer. Everything from the size and the shape of your car to the type of aircon and the speed at which you're traveling will change the results. Either way, we don't recommend driving around with your windows down on a 40 degree day just to save a touch of fuel. Filling up when the weather's cooler gets you more fuel. False. The idea here is that fuel becomes denser when it's cold, allowing you to fit more in. However, because fuel is usually pumped from underground tanks that are mostly insulated from the weather, its temperature actually changes very little throughout the day. There's a symbol on your fuel gauge that carries a secret message. True. Look closely at your petrol gauge and you should notice a small symbol that looks like a fuel bowser. If this symbol has an arrow next to it, its direction points to the side of the car on which the petrol cap is located. However, some people believe that if there's no arrow, the handle on the petrol bowser symbol is on the same side as the filler flap. Not true. In these cases, you're on your own. Inflating your tyres with nitrogen improves their performance. False. The science behind this myth is that nitrogen leaks from your tyres at a slower rate, keeps the rubber cooler and maintains a more stable pressure as compared to plain old compressed air. While there's truth behind this, any benefits would only be seen under extremely high speeds such as a Formula One car. For the everyday driver, you're wasting your money.